am requesting everyone to please stand up for an opening prayer. And may I request to Miss Lim to lead us the prayer. Our loving God, we praise and thank you for the blessings you have given to us. Thank you for giving us a chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that has caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless us with a wisdom to understand our lesson and the joy to learn with our classmates. Bless also our teachers as they impart to us the value of learning. Help us to become children who want us to be. This we pray of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning class. Before you sit, can we pick up some pieces of paper under your chairs? And arrange your chairs in the straight line and sit properly. So, how are you guys? Wow, all of you are okay today. So, before we start, let me check, check your attendance first. Very good. Nobody is absent today. So, let's move on to our lesson. But first, what is our previous lesson? Yes, Miss Glory? Very good. Our previous topic is all about algebraic expression. So, what is algebraic expression? Yes, Miss Princess? Very good. Algebraic expression is a mathematical expression that is made up of one or more terms. So, here are the example of algebraic expression. 7, 30, x, 8x, y cube, negative 4 x cubed y squared and the quantity of negative 3 x squared minus 4 x plus 2 and 5 x over 2 y and plus 3 x minus 5 over 4 x plus 2. All of that are example of algebraic expression. So now let us move on to our next topic which is constant and variables but first here is the objective of this lesson first define and illustrate constant and variables second determine the number of terms of an algebraic expression and last give an example of expression so let's proceed what is constant? Constant. A constant is a symbol representing one fixed values. So here's the next. The next is variable. Is any symbol representing possible values of quality? So what is constant and variable? So here it is. So here is the constant. So look at this picture. So here is the constant which is a number which is number 23 and number 45. So this is, a, a, this is an example of an constant. Or, and here is the variable. 
variable is any letter. Like what I have said earlier, variable is any symbol representing positive values of a quantity. So, this is a variable and this is also a constant. So now, let's have an example. Let's combine together the constant and variables. So, example in 3n. So, if 3, if n is equal to 1, so 3n is equal to 3, substitute the value of 1 is equal to 3. Because 3 times the quantity of 1 is equal to 3. So, another example. If n is equal to 2, so 3n is equal to 3 times the quantity of 2 is equal to 6. And another example, if n is 1 half, 3n is equal to 3 times the quantity of 1 half is equal to 3 and half. Did you understand guys? So, for this reason, the 3n, 3n is called a variable terms since the values carry. The value term is also called algebraic expression. So, what is term? A term is a single mathematical expression. So, here is the term. 5x plus 3 plus 8 is called terms. When you combine these three, that is three constant together with its variable. This expression is also called is also called as very good. That is term. So I have an example here of one term first. Uh, one term, second term, and third term, term. So, if you guys really understand what was our previous lesson, you please tell me what term is this. Very good. That is a three term because 5x, 3, and then 8. So, here is the example of one term. Example of one term, x plus 23 is equal to 45. The x is the variable. And the 23 and 45 is our constant. So, that is one term. Example of our one term. Next, here is the example of two terms. Y is equal to 7x plus 8. So, where is the constant here? Very good. That is number 8. And where is the variables? Anyone? Yes, Miss Ross. Very good. The variables here are Y and X. Okay, next, in three terms, so here is the three terms, 5x plus 3 plus 8y, and that is also an example of three terms. Next, Let's apply. If you really understand our lesson, let us apply this. Uh, I will give you 30 minutes to answer this in one whole sheet of paper. So the direction is determine the number of terms in each algebraic expression. So your 30 minutes starts now. Okay, class. Are you done? Pens up. 
Okay, pass your paper forward. Okay. So, that would be all. That's all for today. That's the end of our lesson. And before you go home, copy your assignment at your assignment notebook. So, here is your assignment. So, encircle the terms which is not similar to other terms. Which is not similar. And circle. Then, pass it tomorrow. Are you guys understand? Okay. That's all for today. 